reach a certain age and after that start moving backwards in time? I think it's for example, so the, one of our main uh, focus is Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. Twelve percent of people above age 55 in India uh, have uh, Alzheimer's disease. It's an underdiagnosed disease. In the brain, you get uh, deposition of what is called amyloid. This is like clotted proteins. And we have catalytic antibodies to the amyloid actually clear from the brain. We can remove the, the amyloid from the brain by injecting the antibody intravenously. Now, it's difficult to reverse aging. Uh, the brain has only limited power to regenerate, but it is certainly possible to stop aging. So healthy living, we can prolong, we think we will be able to prolong life. So are you working on a vaccine for Alzheimer's too? We are working on, so a vaccine is the target itself. The mm -hmm. prevention part happens if you take the bad target, let's say a virus, mm -hmm. and you inject the virus. Our immune system defends against the virus. So we never inject an antibody. We inject the virus itself. We let the immune system do the job of protecting us. This is how we survive. That's a vaccine. An antibody is what the immune system normally makes, but if it's unable to do so, we intravenously we infuse that. So it would be called a therapeutic vaccine as opposed to a, a passive, uh, as opposed to a active vaccination, preventive uh, vaccine. So preventive and therapeutic. Alzheimer's disease is what leads to memory loss in a lot of people, isn't it? Alzheimer's disease is complex. Memory is the way we diagnose it, but essentially we lose cognition. Our brain just goes of voluntary motions, involuntary motions. Uh, Alzheimer's disease is uh, compromises quality of life in a m multiple ways. Ways. You know, we're having a great conversation with Doctor. Uh, hmm, forgot your name. Is it Alzheimer's? So <laughs> See, I actually thought you were serious for a second. <laughs> My name is not very memorable. So <laughs> there you go. The work you do certainly is. And I hope so. Important. So in fact, let me just say a small comment on that. In science, we sort of minimize the personality. And we say the work is the big thing. And we are just, we do the deed uh, that we must do because we are trained to do it. And then the chips will fall. Uh, you know, Nishkam, we carry on. Nishkam Seva. Yeah. Um, Sudhir Paul ko gussa aata hai? I get angry, yes. Baad mein poochhenge kiyo aata hai? Fil hal, ek chota sa break lete hai. Aur lotne par, hamare jo vishesh mahiman hai, Dr. Sudhir Paul, who is doing amazing work in the field of discovering vaccines or preventing intractable diseases, we'll continue our conversation with him. Rahi hai hamare saath, aap dekh rahe hai, desh ka rashtriya network, Dutash. Okay,
कोई भी हेयर स्टाइल करो अगर बाल हो घने और लंबे इसलिए सनसिल्क थिक एंड लॉन्ग जिसमें है योग प्रोटीन जो बालों को दो गुना घना बनाए दो गुने घने बाल अब एक रूपए में अब सनसिल्क के एक रूपए सैशे आरोप पाइए बीस प्रतिशत एक्स्ट्रा बिल्कुल मुफ्त सर्दियों में रूखी त्वचा को आम देखभाल से चाहिए कुछ ज्यादा उसे चाहिए हीलिंग इसीलिए वैसलिन टोटल मॉइस्चर जेली की माइक्रो ड्रॉपलेट्स के साथ त्वचा की नमी को तीन गुना बढ़ाए और रूखी त्वचा को हील करने में मदद करे आपकी रूखी त्वचा है हील्ड ये है वैसलिन का हीलिंग पावर हमारे विशेष मेहमान हैं डॉक्टर सुधीर पॉल फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ टेक्सास इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका आप प्रोफेसर एंड डायरेक्टर हैं एंड यू आर डूइंग रिसर्च इन इम्यूनोलॉजी यू आर वर्किंग ऑन वैक्सीन्स फॉर सर्टेन टेरिबल टेरिबल डिजीजेज वी टॉक ऑफ एड्स वी टॉक ऑफ ऑल्जाइमर्स वी टॉक ऑफ अ होल नंबर ऑफ डिजीजेज एंड ही इज लीडिंग रिसर्च इन दिस इन द इज वेरी प्राउड ऑफ इट्स सन डॉक्टर सुधीर पॉल डॉक्टर पॉल बिफोर वी टुक दिस लिटल ब्रेक Uh, हमने आपसे पूछा था कि आपको गुस्सा आता है आपने कहा बहुत आता है और बहुत गुस्से से मेरी तरफ देखा था बताइए <laughs> किस चीज पे गुस्सा माय नेम इज सुधीर विच मींस पेशेंट आई काम बट रियली आई शुड बी नेम्ड अधीर सो यू कैन आई गेट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड व्हेन थिंग्स डोंट गो अकॉर्डिंग टू अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड वे एंड आई ब्लेम इट ऑन माई सेल्फ मोर देन the system is what it is so our work has gone slowly things could have gone uh, faster and things could go faster in the future so i'm i'm i i will do what i can to expedite the work make it really happen and to contain my gussa both <laughs> <laughs> the department w- which uh, you head as director is called the chemical immunology research center iska kya matlab hai sir immunology research ke liye why chemical is there a non chemical immunology also uh, well yes and no that um, the the no part is that uh, in the old days we we are trained to do immunology we won't really think about physics for example or basic chemistry uh, but we have discovered to our dismay that this kind of tunnel vision is really that doesn't deliver the goods that we have to we have to deal with new viruses that emerge we must know many things and and uh, jack of all trades is bad but to be a master of many trades so chemical immunology is a synthesis of chemical thinking and methods and immunological thinking and methods and it's really uh, a new way to to move the science forward uh, dr paul perhaps the next question could be differently interpreted but i seek your pardon with due respect some people believe that most new diseases so to speak are for some reason found in the african continent would you agree with that no i i wouldn't agree i mean it's a statistical fact that uh, hygiene and uh, lack of uh, just um, the social economic development will breed diseases so to that extent yes but it's simply a, a societal matter it's not something that is genetic there are diseases genetic diseases that are more prevalent amongst caucasians and some uh, amongst africans and some against some in asians so so i don't believe that there's a fundamental reason for for uh, new diseases ebola and hiv emerging in in uh, africa may i talk about uh, the terrible c disease cancer there is hope first immunology uh, people are increasing the using uh, immunological methods prevention there is a vaccine a uh, fda approved vaccine against certain types of ca- cancer that fda that, being the food and drug administration of the united that's states that's correct um th- that uh, treats it's a therapeutic vaccine against colorectal uh, cancers and prostate cancer um so there is hope but cancer is a little bit like uh, the viruses that our own cells they develop resistance to drugs and um target our our technology actually i had some funding from the nih for a cancer uh, vaccine a catalytic antibody but uh, the progress was so slow and we have so much to do that it's not really possible to do everything together we believe our technology has a broad 
potential. But converting that statement into reality, so against cancer, against viruses, against heart disease, against old age, converting it to reality will take years and years of work and one must focus on individual objectives or else we'll just talk. Now what excites Sudhir Paul? Is it success in his work and does he go running around with the towel wrapped around his waist saying, Eureka, I have found it? <laughs> <laughs> well, those were the old days. I, I am inspired by science, so that really excites me. And the Eureka part of it is great. But there are statistics now that professors and scientists, we spend most of our time in administration. So as a principal investigator in research projects, uh, most in, in principal investigators, they spend over 50% time on administration, budgets, and so forth. It's just part of everything, like everything else. Uh, really, the inspiration is a very small minority, but it's enough to, to get me excited. Dr. Paul, millions of people are watching this conversation on Doordarshan. A typical din in the life of Dr. Sudhir Paul, kaisa hota hai? If there's, is there such a thing as a typical day in your life? Yes, there is. There is. It's, well, talk in to fact, us. it's humdrum, <laughs> mostly. <laughs> and it's boring. I mean, it's, uh, there's a whole lot but of... But scientists are meant to be boring, no? Exactly. Uh, progress comes through hard work and attention to detail and accuracy. We make mistakes in science because things are new when we are working with new things. Mis some mistakes are inevitable, but one of our objectives about, I guess, 50% of my day is just spent in, in deciding, is this a mistake? Is this correct? So just that debate uh, itself. And then the rest of it is, uh, as I said, a small minority. I try to uh, be inspired. I, that I need that to just keep myself going. And the rest of it is uh, junior people, with dealing with them, training them, uh, looking at data and interpreting the data writing papers, writing funding proposals. Uh, that's the typical work of a scientist. In the kind of work that you do, how important is teamwork? A modern science, uh, particularly biology, you spoke of chemical immunology, interdisciplinary work, we really are dependent on each other. There is the creativity. It's a personal sense of creativity. The teamwork is completely essential. In fact, Google has a logo that says we stand on the shoulders of giants. So we, uh, the, the knowledge, most of knowledge, we just make incremental advances. It's rare that you have a paradigm shift per se. Uh, so we are terribly interdependent. The money, we got to convince people how to get the money. We have to persuade the funding agencies. So teamwork is essential in modern science. Do you have any spare time? I do. In fact, I, I am in my, I'm, I'm rather old, my, my, I am rather old, so I make it a point now to say that when it's not fun, I will stop uh, doing this humdrum work and just uh, sort of let my mind go. So that's spare time. We know that why the doctor Sudhir Paul comes to the doctor, why the excitement comes to the doctor. Why do you get happy with the doctor? Happy is... Uh, so I have to say that my, uh, when I was a kid, when I was a child, uh, it used to be more you know, emotional cushy. Now it turns out that if things go in an orderly way, that in itself makes me happy. Scientists, because we are so disciplined, that is happiness. But then, of course, the human part of this is inevitable. Emotions, obviously, when I have good interactions, and I compliment you for keeping your guests comfortable <laughs> and happy. <laughs> so, Kushi Ora, I am happy right now. Um, Dr. Paul, again, somewhat delicate. Born in Kenya, made in India, remade and developed further in the United States. What is your true personality? No, I, I, I am an Indian, uh, well, genetically. You know, we are incidentally America, Kenya, and India. Our genes are 99.9% .9 identical. It's the 0.1% that keeps us different. And we, we obviously, we look at each other as different people, but the unity in the, in the human species is remarkable. So 99.9%. .9 but that 0.1% uniquely Indian 
uh, genes are truly Indian. In other words, I am an Indian, and I, um, I, I, I come here frequently, and I, I love the land, and I, I love the people. You talked about your parents who are now advancing in age. Which of the two, or both, do you think influenced you the most? I think both. My 